Hey there planners, today I am going to be setting up my faith journal for the month of November. I have a great reading scripture challenge this month and some awesome supplies from Simply Gilded. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, first things first, as always, I'm gonna change out my little monthly card here. I have some awesome supplies and I will talk about them as I use them throughout this plan with me. Um, this Bible journal, I will leave a link to where, to where you can see all about how this was set up. I am absolutely loving it. It's B6 size, it's in a print pressions, a folio cover and it has been really wonderful for all of my Bible journaling, scripture reading, prayer, uh, writing out my prayers, all of that stuff. So um, this actually is a printable. I have a couple of these. You'll see the other one that I will use as the monthly cover page, but these are uh, freebies from Sterling Inc. and they are absolutely gorgeous. Every month uh, she releases to her Facebook group or anyone who is on her email newsletter um, a freebie for the month, a freebie calendar, and they're always so gorgeous. There's a couple of different versions, a couple in the card size and then a couple uh, page size. And of course you can print them any size you want to um, and then cut them out and use them as stickers or tip-ins or like I use here in the front of my planner. I love having this right in the cover so I can quickly see the month and I change it out each month with the new printable. Um, so this month are some really beautiful muted kind of fall colors with um, some florals absolutely gorgeous and of course sterling ink has beautiful uh, stickers in in the shop anyway so definitely worth checking out so for this setup i'm going to be using several products from the uh, subscription box from uh, simply gilded um, the the name of the uh, box was moondrops and it has just this really beautiful muted pinks and silvers and um, hollow foiling, uh, light blues, lots of grays, uh, just absolutely beautiful uh, box. You'll see some stickers, I'll pull those out. Um, I've also collected some Tombos that are in those same colors, so I'm going to be using those in the setup. Um, and then I want to use some of the washi to put down this uh, gorgeous um, calendar from Sterling Inc. right here at the front. I was also thinking about this month's uh, Simply Gilded came with this really beautiful journaling card, and I was thinking about tipping this into the side of the page and flipping it over. Um, of course, you know, it's the month of November, so I've got Thanksgiving and thankfulness. Uh, on my mind and I thought about possibly using this uh, as a journaling card to be able to flip over and just write some of the highlights of this month and things that I'm really thankful for this month. Um, I really want to call attention to that and so I think I may be using some of the washi tape to tip that in as well. All right let me go ahead and get these two things down and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. All right, so there is my cover page for the month of November, and I did end up putting this journaling card in. I just took a couple of pieces of washi and put it on either side. Um, it's a little stiff right now, but I know as I keep using it, it will um, it will loosen up a little bit. The key here is if you want to put something down, and you can see I didn't go all the way to the edge of the page, the key is to make sure your tape stops right before the edges because they need to be able to flip, and if it went any further, it wouldn't be able to flip. So. Um, that's kind of the key on both the front and the back. I absolutely love these colors and the sun is going in and out from behind clouds as I'm filming this. So um, the sparkles are coming and going, but you can really see um, all the sparkles in this washi set. It's just absolutely beautiful. This pink went really well with the floral uh, for the month of November. So this is the opening page. Now I'm going to flip over and put in my monthly calendar, which is where I capture gratitude and answered prayers, things that happen that I really want to track. Um, it's, it's really refreshing to me to come into this planner first thing in the morning. Um, I, you know, I used to track a lot of like gratitude and things like that uh, in my normal planner, but I have found keeping it separate and making it the first thing I do every morning actually has made such a huge difference in my prayer life and my um, just cultivating a thankful heart because it's the first thing on my mind. So I haven't, I haven't been able to look at any to-dos yet or anything else is the first thing I get to and um, I have really seen a lot of benefits from that. So I am going to draw this in. I am going to add a, some stickers, things like that. Um, I went ahead and penciled in some of it um, just to give myself an outline for where the month needs to go. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this in and then I'll come back and decorate it with you.
so there's my month all set up for November. I absolutely love this kit. I love the way it looks. I love how sparkly it is. Hopefully you can see that hollow uh, shiny on the on the camera but um, this is just the perfect amount of space for me to be able to write in things I'm thankful for answered prayers things like that so that is the setup for the month now I'm going to flip over and put in my scripture study and um, a little bit of a prayer guide for this month all right and here are the last two spreads in my setup for this month this is a 30-day um, prayer challenge that comes from Jessica Autumn's website um, I'll have a link to it down below I love the prompt that it has. It's really about uh, praying for those people around you, um, the folks that you're thankful for, and I think it'll go along really well with sort of my um, re scripture reading challenge this month, which is all about thankfulness. There are tons of these available this time of year, um, and if you're looking for different options for uh, scripture reading, I do have a Pinterest board full of those, and I'll leave those uh, down below. I typically find these studies on Pinterest, um, and uh, the, these are great. These This actually comes from Wildly Anchored, and I've been using several of her studies, uh, the 30-day reading, scripture reading studies, and um, really enjoy enjoying those. There are tons of those. They're also located down uh, in the description box on that Pinterest board, as well as at the Wildly Anchored website. So that's my setup. Um, I am going to be flipping over and just starting to journal each day um, using the, um, the scripture reading, uh, which is just one verse a day. I really like diving in um, to that one verse a day, doing the um, prayer challenges and writing out prayers, and then also keeping track of what I'm thankful for this month. So I really hope that you enjoyed the setup of my faith journal for the month of November. I would love to hear from you. Are you keeping a faith journal? How is that going? What are you using? Um, and did you get any ideas here? Or do you have any ideas for me that I should try? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And thanks for planning with me.